OpenAI started rolling out plugins and web browsing for GPT-4, and it lets you do some really cool things. Here, I just told GPT-4 to buy me a fancy dinner. It came up with an ingredient list, then created an Instacart shopping list for me to buy them. And we can see if we click on it, it actually goes to Instacart and we can just buy all the 12 items in the cart. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to use plugins and web browsing with GPT-4 and the possibilities with them are endless. First, click on your email on the bottom left, click on settings, go to beta features, then enable web browsing and plugins. As of right now, you need to be a plus user, but I believe they're planning to release these features to everyone soon. Then go to data controls and make sure that chat history and training is turned on. It will not work without this enabled. Now create a new chat, go to GPT-4 and select which mode you want. Let's try browsing first. Okay, let's ask who won the NBA 2020 championship. And because it was trained on data until 2021, it doesn't need to do web browsing to get the answer. Now let's ask the same thing, except let's change the 2020 to 2022. And because it wasn't trained on 2022 data, it doesn't know. So it has to actually do some web searching here. And it figured out the answer is the Golden State Warriors. And it actually gave a source as well. And in this case, it's nba.com. Pretty awesome. This could really kill Google searches. Why manually go through search results when an AI can do it for you? Okay, now let's try plugins. So let's do a new chat again. Let's go to GPT-4 and let's go to plugins. And I already showed Instacart, so let's try a new plugin. Let's go to the plugin store. Let's try Expedia. So we'll click install, it's installed. And now we click on this little drop down here and we have Expedia and Instacart enabled. Book me a weekend trip from Miami to New York City for the 4th of July. So sounds like a fun trip. Let's start with finding a place to stay. Okay, so now it's gonna use Expedia to actually look up hotels to stay at. And so here are some lodging options in New York City from July 4th to July 6th. Gives us the average nightly price, the rating, guest rating, some features about it. Okay, so it's done. It actually even embedded those options with images into the chat. Let's go with option two. It says great choice. The Western New York Grand Central is a fantastic hotel. And so it's going to now look up for flights. Again, it's using Expedia. And what's interesting is we can see how it is using Expedia. So if we click on it, anytime it uses a plugin, it's actually just doing an API request. So here's the request. We have the origin Miami, destination New York City, departure date, and here's the response from Expedia. And we can see that now it basically parses this response and just returns the flight data to us in a really nice, easy to look at format. Basically, I think what OpenAI is trying to do is make the in internet easier to use by giving us a chat interface for everything instead of having to go to a bunch of different websites. And as a developer, it could be very interesting to develop your own plugin for ChatGPT and leverage this amazing AI system. If you found that helpful, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button.